these are the ingredients. First, we are going to get some cinnamon powder and some flour. We have some eggs. These are walnuts and almonds chopped, uh, which we are going to toast. We got some unsalted butter, chocolate chips, baking soda, baking powder, and salt, uh, sugar, bananas. And here we are adding to warm water. We are adding a little coffee. This is instant coffee. This is the melted butter. Just give it a good mix. So, putting it in a pan to put it in the oven. I'm going to evenly spread it out. Just evenly toast it. You can do this in a non stick pan on the stove as well. Whichever one. Just need to toast it for 7 to 8 minutes. Okay, we're gonna smash the bananas now. I'm using a potato masher, but um, you can use a fork, the back end of a fork. The nutmeg will give it a really nice flavor as well as a nice smell. So first we're going to mix all the dry ingredients. So we've put the flour, the cinnamon uh, powder and uh, nutmeg powder. Now we are adding salt, baking soda and baking powder now we'll add the uh, chopped uh, nuts as uh, walnuts as well as almonds which we have roasted in the oven for uh, eight minutes exactly on 180 degrees and now we'll add the chocolate chip adding the sugar now uh, please bear in mind that the quantities that we are using is for uh, double of um, the recipe what we are going to post on the blog. So um, now we are going to mix all the dry ingredients well before we add the wet ingredients. Make sure your spatula is strong enough so you can give this a good mix. This is the mashed banana. We are adding melted butter. Then uh, we beated the eggs uh, a little bit with the homemade uh, vanilla essence. So we don't want to over beat it, otherwise it will make it very fluffy. We need the texture to be nice and dense like how bread is. We are going to give this uh, good mix but uh, be careful not to over mix it just enough to incorporate it so it is uh, fully incorporated now and uh, we'll stop the mixing and now we'll be adding the wet ingredients into the dry so we'll add this a little so we'll add it slowly and now we are just going to fold it in so basically that means taking it from the side in this way and bring it downwards clockwise and straight down clockwise straight down so we'll keep doing this gently so that all the ingredients get fully mixed properly and becomes one nice big gooey dough and I'm going to add the coffee now to this and make sure it's fully incorporated in uh, what you can even do is uh, you can do the coffee uh, in advance you can put it in advance as well I just put it at the last to give it that extra punch and flavor um, in the bread. We have, um, after buttering the pans, we have emptied out the mixture into um, a loaf tin as well as a regular um, bake, a baking tin. 
So if you don't have a loaf tin, you can use a regular baking tin, but uh, I would suggest to use a loaf tin because it gives that uh, uh, texture as uh, well as the shape of a bread. There would be some uh, air bubbles in, so what we're going to do is we are going to lift it and hit it. Okay, so we hit it down for air bubbles. Now we'll cook it on 180 degrees Celsius for one hour.